Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. So I'm going to use two decks of cards today. The Little Love Notes by Charming Oracle and the Hidden Truth Oracle. Now, when I did the little short today for Wisdom with the Twins, we got the card coming out, I Deny My Feelings. So the masculines remember sometimes deny their feelings because they go through pain in their life and they don't want to open up. They feel very vulnerable. They feel insecure about being that truthful because they're afraid of being abandoned. It's their own fears and insecurity that can hold them back. Other times it can just be their situation. You know, they're afraid because they don't want to give too much too soon because they don't want to hurt you. They don't want to fail you. They don't want to let you down, especially if there's things keeping them where they are, like a marriage or children or financial obligations. They want to be able to express their truth to you when they can fully show you who they are. So I am feeling this block being lifted and I really did pick up on this in the masculine reading today. A lot of congestion in the throat chakra, nasal blockages because they know they need to reach out and that's their intuition saying that to them but they are struggling a little bit. So you are asked today to have compassion and faith. Remember who you are and your power. So what does your masculine want to say to you today? One card, powerful. When one card jumps out like that, there's something very clear you want to say. Look at this, two, oh wow, yeah, look at this, two cards. I hid who I really am from you. I hid who I really am from you. So this is huge because this is exactly what I'm feeling. So if you actually go over to my other channel with my little kind of carrot babies, I was going to grab them, they're just there. It says, you know, it's got the message of the card. It gives you a little bit of extra guidance about this. But he's saying to you, I hid who I really am from you. Hid. And that's the past tense. So what that means is he doesn't want to anymore. He doesn't want to hide anymore. He wants to come out into the open. He wants to tell you how he feels. I hid who I really am. And that's because he was afraid. He was afraid. Now, he did show you at the beginning. You've seen that side of him, the side that's open and honest and loving and wants everything with you. You've had glimpses of this throughout the journey. You know, very powerfully at the beginning for you guys, maybe, but definitely glimpses as you've gone on. And that's why the ego can keep us stuck in a cycle because we can go over that and think, I want that again. I want it to be how it used to be. Or where's he gone? The man I fell in love with. What's happening now? Why is he this person? And he's being honest and saying, I hear who I really am from you. And the reason why is because of his own fear. So this is also a past tense energy. So he's saying to you, I no longer want to run. I want to show the truth. And I feel so lost without you in my life. So he's saying to you, I don't, I don't want to run anymore. I want to open up and show you who I am because I just feel lost without you. I feel so lost without you in my life. I, I want to feel at peace. I want direction. I want to know what to do. Powerful. So I want to expand on this a little bit. So I'm going to bring in another deck called the Face to Face Oracle. So can we expand on this a little bit, please, angels? What do the masculines want us to know? So I love this because we've got masculine and feminine energy coming through in this. And I do feel that the masculines are also experiencing their own feminine energy. And I know you are too divine feminine. You're experiencing your own divine masculine energy. And the reason why is because when you come into union, you balance both energies. So before union, when you're very close to achieving it, you do feel these things and it can be a bit confusing. So families, you might think, is it worth it? Is it worth it? And it is. The message says it's worth it. So you're being reminded it's worth it, divine feminine, it's worth it. And he's saying to you, I'm sorry I made you question this love. I did hide who I really was or who I really am because they're saying was because he's not that person anymore. I'm not that person I used to be. I've changed so much through our connection. And I feel so lost now without you in my life. So what he's really saying is this journey is worthy because he's changed from who he was and who he used to be into who he is now. And he can never go back. And that's why he feels lost, because until he's with you completely fully, he's going to feel that way. He's going to feel a void. He's going to feel something's missing, something's off. His life won't work right because it works much better with you in it. 
and he's trying to find his way back. And he's saying loyalty. I am loyal to you. And that's why you may see dogs, because dogs are a symbol of loyalty and companionship. But I also feel he's standing strong there and he's saying to you, I appreciate your loyalty. I appreciate you more than you know, more than you think. I appreciate you for sticking by me through thick and thin when I hid who I really am and showed you who I was. So I feel he is confused because he knows he's changing and he's trying to analyse the past and why things have happened. And he's making sense of things right now. It's time to let your guard down and trust again. And he's saying this to you, I want to let my guard down. I want to be able to trust myself again in our love. And I want you to trust me. And I want to prove to you that you can. So he's moving forward. And this is really powerful because I've been connecting with this block throat chakra. And I really feel this is moving away. It's time to heal my past. So I feel this is both of you because this is also a feminine energy. So the masculine is connecting with the situation that's happened with you and with other people around them and saying it's time. It's time for me to heal the past, to be free of it. They give me fear and feminines, they give me a lot of fear there. Very strong energy being released of fear because you know you can't keep going over the past. It doesn't serve you and it's causing pain nostalgia sometimes which is a good thing sometimes but it can also bring in that pain so we have to look through the pain and see past it and understand it so i feel you both healing the past to prepare for this future red light be aware of narcissistic behaviors so your masculine is apologizing to you for the times he may have acted in a narcissistic way the times he may have tried to control you with pain and struggle and suffering because he is saying to you what i'm channeling right now is i'm sorry if i made you feel bad i'm sorry if i made you feel bad because you're single or you're free for going out enjoying yourself i feel this as if he's made you feel bad say if you've been going somewhere you could have had somewhere to go like an event or maybe you were celebrating your birthday or you were doing something and because he couldn't be there to share that with you, he felt guilty and pained and not very nice because he was a bit jealous and a bit depressed about it. And he may have taught that out on you. And that's what they're giving me. I feel that will resonate with one or two or a few of you watching. And he's apologising for that. If it seemed to be narcissistic, like it's one rule for one, one for another. And any time he's done that, it's been out of his own fear. Any time he's lashed, lashed out at you, seemed to be jealous or even indifferent. You know, narcissistic behaviour can also be indifference. So you know how this will affect you, this energy. And he's apologising. I'm sorry for my behaviour. Any time that I've created a red light, any time I've blocked you, ghosted you, ignored you, created that pause. But he's also very aware that he did those things to learn from them. And now he needs to heal the past. So I feel this is both of you need to heal what happened before and to let go of it, the pain. Because sometimes we look back at things with rose coloured glasses and we forget the past, the pain. Or we look back and all we can see is the pain. And we have to remember the blessings too. So everything grew you, but the time is now. And toxic situation. So this is the masculine saying, I don't want to be in a toxic situation anymore. I don't want to remain where I am. I feel lost without you. He feels very toxic to be without you right now. And he's also apologising for any narcissistic, toxic behaviour. He understands that he's caused a lot of this and it's all been through his own fear. So he's asking you to forgive him today, Divine Feminine, to heal that part of the past. I'm sorry if I caused a toxic situation and made you doubt our love. I'm sorry for creating that red light. But it made you aware of the things that you won't tolerate. And that gave me strength. So I feel you also may have set your own boundaries down because of these red lights. But you're also being reminded because they show me a red light like a traffic light that delays the necessary for divine timing and for growth and for healing. So whenever we are block ghosted ignored or wherever there's a delay it's delayed with love for our own protection 
because of a toxic situation. And he's saying that to you as well. I had to take that step back to heal all the toxic things in me. But I've always been loyal to you. And I want to uncover my truth. I want to take my guard down. I want you to see my heart. I want you to see the true me. So it's time to heal the past because it's worth it. And I'm sorry I hide sometimes who I am now. But I definitely don't want you to remember the person I used to be because that's not who I am. Because I hid the truth, the person I was becoming. And it was very scary for me. But I feel so lost without you and I want you by my side and I fully intend to get there to you. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.